Welcome to edipediaworld.com. In today's class, we are going to study about force, work and energy and also learn about the relationship between the three terms. So what is force? Force is, as we learnt earlier, it is any push or pull. What if I ask you to move a table from one place to another place? In how many ways can you move a table? You can either push a table, you can also pull a table towards you. Now just think of how many things that you keep pulling or pushing in your day. What happens when you open the door? What do you do to close a door? In all these works, you apply force. So what can we say? Now look at the picture in front of you. On to the left you have a boy who is pushing a trolley. On to the right you have a boy. He is pulling a heavy stone using a very thick rope. So in both the pictures we can see that the two boys are trying to apply force and either pull or push the objects away from each other or towards each other. So force is used to do work while pulling or pushing. Both these boys are doing some work. So a pull or push is force. Now what else can a force do besides pulling or pushing? A force is used to move the object from one place to another. I have a ball and if I use my hand to push the ball, the ball moves certain distance and then comes to a stop. So my hand is used to apply force to a ball. Secondly, the force can also change the shape of the object. If I take a balloon or if I take a ball and try to squeeze the ball or the balloon using my hands, then it changes its shape. So my hands are used to apply force and change the shape of the object. Thirdly, it is also the that is the force is also used to change the speed of the object. Now if I have a ball, I use my hand and I apply large amount of force and then change the speed of the ball. The ball moves very fast. Lastly, the force is also used to change the direction of any object. Now uh, all of you must have seen cricket match. Now the ball comes from one direction and the batsman uses his force and his bat to hit the ball and ball changes his direction. So in this case the force is used by the batsman and he changes the direction of the ball. So apart from simple pushing or pulling force can be used to do all these changes in the object. Now that we know what is force, let us also learn about the types of the force. Force are of two types, frictional force and gravitational force. Frictional force and gravitational force we are going to study now. What is a frictional force and what is a gravitational force? Let's first talk about frictional, frictional force. Now I have taken two cases here. On to the left in the first case, imagine that you have a toy car and Try to push the toy car on a carpet. Now as we all know that a carpet is not a very smooth surface. So what happens? The car only moves to a lesser distance. On the other hand, consider the case 2 wherein we have the toy car and now I push the toy car on a smooth floor. The toy car goes to a larger distance and then stops. Why is it so? First of all, what you need to know is that the frictional force always applies opposite to the direction of the motion of the object. The frictional force is that force which is used to stop an object which is moving. So now in the first case, because the toy car is moved on a carpet, in this case the Frictional force is very large and because of the large frictional force the toy car is restricted and it only moves to a lesser distance. Whereas when the toy car is moved over a smooth surface, in this case the frictional force is very small because the surface is smooth and that's, that's why the car moves to a larger distance and then stops. 
all of you must have seen skating people skating on the ice why is it so that people skate so easily on ice that is exactly because ice is a smooth surface and over a smooth surface the frictional force is very less they are able to skate so very easily now that we know about frictional force let us also learn what is a gravitational force gravity is a property of earth by which it can attract any object towards its surface if i throw a ball up in the air the ball automatically falls down on the ground this is also because of gravity now that we know about force and various types of force let us also learn about work what is the man in the picture trying to do yes apart from lifting a weight the man is trying to do some work so what is work now just look at the pictures on the left and on the right on to the left the boy is trying to push a small table and on my right the man is trying to push a box now what do you think which person requires more energy obviously the person trying to push a heavy box requires more energy and he ends up doing more work and also this person gets tired very easily because he is doing more work and he requires lot of energy to push the box as compared to the boy who is pushing a small table so what can we say the ability to do work in the case wherein he is trying to move the box is reduced man's ability to do more work is reduced because he's already done so much of work this ability to do work is called energy so the man requires more energy to move the box so what have we learned firstly force is any push or pull secondly to do any work we need force thirdly energy is the ability to do work and what is work work is the energy transferred by force now the concept that we have learned just now let us now complete an exercise wherein we'll be able to appreciate the concept that we have learned now the yellow box that you see is an object and a person is trying to apply a force onto the object the magnitude of the force is 10 newtons so newton is the unit in which the force is man considered so man is applying 10 newtons like uh, we say 1 uh, kg of tomato 1 liter of milk similarly newton is the si unit of force so the man is trying to apply 10 newton of force on the object and thus the object moves 7 meters ahead so what is the work done by the man now we have learned that work is energy which is transferred by force also force is any pull or push so here we are trying to push the object energy is the ability to do work so from this concept the what is the formula of work work is equal to force multiplied by distance now we force is 10 newtons in our case that we have considered and the object is moved to a distance of 7 meters so work is equal to 10 into 7 that is equal to 17 newton meter so 17 newton meter is the work done by the man who is applying 10 newton of force onto the object and moves it to a distance of 7 meters Now next exercise for you is that imagine a person he's he's applying 40 newtons of force onto the object and he moves the object by 10 meters so what is the work done by the person in moving the object if your answer is 400 newton meters then you have understood the concept thank you for watching the video